Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another grocery haul for you guys. Now, last month I did huh, tell you guys, or last month, earlier this month in my last grocery haul, I shared the meal plan and I talked about some videos we were gonna do, um, sharing the recipes, and then we didn't end up doing them. So I did put a couple of those things back on the menu so that we can hopefully get those filmed uh, and up for you guys, because they were requested recipes from you guys. So. Let me just share with you what the meal plan is. I've got seven meals here and then a few lunches um, and then I'll hop in because I did two orders, a Sam's Club and a Kroger order. So on the meal plan are once again, the Nola Pockets. Um, I didn't film it, I'm going to, I promise, Nola Pockets. Um, the brisket, CR makes a really delicious brisket and we're gonna have that with some mac and cheese, cornbread and some green beans. Um, then of course we have Brinner, that's pretty typical for us once a week to have Brinner which is breakfast for dinner. For those of y'all who don't do that normally, maybe you call it something else, but we call it Brinner. Then we're also gonna do the taco Mexi casserole. I shared that in my freezer meals video that I did back at the beginning of January. And a few of you guys suggested, and I thought, why didn't I think of that, to double that recipe so that we could eat one that night and then put one in the freezer for later. So that is what I'm gonna do. I got double the amount for that so that we could make one, eat it fresh, and then make the other and um, freeze it. Then I'm also gonna do the same baked ziti that's from that video as well. And again, same thing, I got enough to make two of them. One we could eat fresh, one we could eat frozen or freeze them both or whatever, but there'll be enough to make two. Um, then I also got the stuff to make my homemade tomato soup and homemade bread, which is delicious. And I will be sharing that in a video as well. Um, and then spaghetti and meatballs, just very, very simple. I like to mix in the stuff that takes a little longer to cook with stuff that's really easy. Um, and then as far as lunches go, that's pretty standard. Um, we do like grilled cheese, we've got some chicken nuggets, things like that. Um, but I did get the stuff to make a uh, garlic and butter pasta one day for lunch, as well as a caprese pasta salad, which is basically like rotini noodles and tomatoes and the little mozzarella balls. I can't remember what they're called. They have a special name. Uh, but the little balls of mozzarella and stuff. So that's a, one of the lunches that we have on here. Um, pizza rolls, we've already got those in the freezer. So that's our meal plan. But um, so again, I think I forgot to mention this last time. So I know there was questions about this as well. Just because it's on the meal plan doesn't mean you're always gonna see everything in the grocery haul because some of it we already have in the pantry. So I'm just sharing, you, sharing with you like what's on the plan and then what groceries we needed to make this stuff. And then of course some snacks and fruits and veggies and stuff like that as well. Okay, so a Sam's Club order just got dropped off. So I'm gonna share with you guys what we got from Sam's Club. All right, so overview here of our Sam's Club order. And uh, again, I, you know, we just kind of go for things that we need to stock up on or that are for the recipes or whatever. Uh, got some more of our fig bars, that's a favorite around here, and a big box of oatmeal. Oatmeal is a fast and easy breakfast. Some more Cheez-It snacks, uh, and also these corn dogs. My kids love these, and to be honest, I really like them too. Um, so corn dogs, and then some beef franks. Those can be for lunches as well. And then just some more chips, sharp cheddar cheese, as well as some flour tortillas. And I also got this big honking thing of cream cheese, as well as some butter. And then uh, these are the Tyson white meat chicken nuggets, which are really good. I, I mean, I don't even mind snacking on a few of those um, with the kids for lunch sometime. And then, you know, I'm getting used to, let me just say this, I'm getting used to Sam's Club because we used to always do Costco. And so since we've moved here, Sam's Club is closer, easier, and uh, we usually end up doing Sam's Club, but I'm learning what I like there, if that makes sense. So the Italian style beef meatballs um, for our spaghetti. And then I got a big pack of bacon, three pounds of bacon. And then this is a 42 pack of sausage patties, which are, you know, we have one kiddo who pretty much just likes meat and meat only for breakfast. So we have to, we don't have a lot of options for him. So he, we do a lot of sausage. Um, and then a bunch of cheddar cheese. We use the heck out of that for recipes, uh, just as well as like, just for sprinkling on things and eating. I also got this big five pound bag of mozzarella cheese, same thing. I'm gonna use it for like the baked ziti and stuff. 
Um, and then this was a impulse purchase, a case in point of why you shouldn't grocery shop when you're hungry, because I ended up with two things of Nutella, which are so good. Uh, and then also this big giant thing of cookie dough. Sometimes after dinner, we'll just throw a few cookies in the oven and have a, a little bit of a little bit of cookies. It's it's nice. And uh, then I got a bunch of these um, spaghetti sauces. This is just the tomato and basil one. It's I want to say it was like seven dollars for all three. So I got two packs of that. And then I also got the, I thought there were supposed to be two of these as well. I need to go back and check my order. But this has elbow noodles, two boxes of elbow, two boxes of spaghetti noodles, and two boxes of penne. And then I also got extra virgin olive oil. And then, did I forget anything? I think I showed you guys, I just love these cinnamon rolls. One of these days I'll, I'll master my own cinnamon roll recipe, but I really love those. And then just some um, ground beef for the taco Mexi casserole for that stuff. So I need to check my order because I thought I got two boxes of that. I'll double check, but that is the order from Sam's Club. Just some snacks, meats, butters, cream cheeses, cheese, that sort of thing that we go through a ton of and I like to buy in larger sizes. All right, here is everything from Kroger. And we've got, okay, honey, hold on one second. I know you want those tomatoes. Benny, no, 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 no. Hold on, buddy, okay? Hold on. All right, so from Kroger, I got the um, mandarin oranges. Uh, these have become like Benjamin's favorite snack. Uh, some basil. Um, I did get some baby spinach. That's for that pasta salad recipe. Um, then I got two things of blueberry bagels. And then um, this is that artisan bread that we like to use to make French toast. And then I did get two things of hamburger buns and two things of hot dog buns. Um, I also got just two of the Sunbeam King Thin Loaves of Bread for sandwiches and all the other things you make with bread. Some bananas, um, garlic powder, which I've, that's not what I put in my cart, but this is what I ended up with, uh, which is fine. I'm just garlic powder is garlic powder, I'm sure. And then uh, some breadcrumbs, some Parmesan cheese, some bow tie pasta, and some Italian inspired panko breadcrumbs. And I did buy two things of breadcrumbs because I am testing out some air fryer recipes as well. So I just needed more breadcrumbs. Um, I got some dry yeast, um, instant yeast for making some different breads. And then um, I did also get two things of pickles for snacking and for air fryer fried pickles because those are the bomb. And then um, some English cucumbers. Again, I wouldn't have gotten like individually wrapped cucumbers, but that's what we ended up with. So that's okay. Then these petite grape tomatoes are for that um, pasta salad that I was talking about, but Ivy has already spotted them. So I have a feeling a number of those will be gone before I get a chance to make that. That's something I might just make and put in the fridge. Uh, and that is also what these are for. And again, I did not know that they came all this like, individual packaging. Normally they just come in a tub like this with all of the little cheese balls in it, but it's hard to tell what the packaging is online. So anyways, uh, then I also got some of their fresh store made guacamole. It's so good. Uh, Parmesan cheese, two packages of that. Petite fingerling potatoes. Um, these are so good sliced up and roasted and with the right like seasonings and stuff on them. They are so delicious. Uh, I also got some red onions. I don't see my yellow onions in the order either. So I'm gonna have to go back and check. That's the only thing is like uh, when stuff is missing and whatever, especially when you have a really big grocery order. I, I'm, I'm accidentally making a case for why I should not be using Instacart. I should just go to the store myself. Um, broccoli florets. Love some good oven roasted broccoli. It is one of my very favorite snacks and the kids like it too. Green beans, some outshine popsicles. Honey crisp apples, those are Christopher's favorite. And then also some heavy whipping cream, some of our sweet tea that we like, and then some uh, flour for baking bread and various things. And then I did go ahead and get two things of toilet paper because we're starting to work on our um, food storage, pantry storage, and stocking up of items. Um, that's something that we really wanted to work on this year is having a good like three month supply. So I just kind of add in things here and there. So I added in another thing of toilet paper so that will go to the supply area and then the rest will get used on our butts. 
Unless there's anything else hiding on the porch, that is it for the Kroger order. All right, so it turns out that there was bags still that we didn't see, so that's why I thought some stuff was missing. But we've got the raw shrimp for the Nola Pockets. We've got the corn on the cob for the Nola Pockets. We've got the Italian sausage. This is for that baked ziti. These are for the Nola Pockets, the beef smoked sausage here. And then the whole tomatoes. Um, sometimes I use fresh tomatoes, sometimes I use canned tomatoes for my tomato soup recipe. Uh, I, but I made sure to have these just in case the kids happen to tear through all my fresh tomatoes before I have a chance to make it. And then the refried beans are for the Mexi casserole as well. So there was a few things that were missing. <laughs> all right, so that is it for our grocery order from Sam's Club and Kroger and uh, our meal plan for the week. So stay tuned, I promise I will get to the the recipe videos um, coming up very soon. But uh, that's it for today. I hope you all are having a good day and we will see you guys again very soon.